Before I even get into this video, you need to understand how the concept of this video even came to my mind. If you don't already follow me on social media, as in like Instagram, the link is down below and you need to follow me because I get on there and I talk to you guys all the time and I get on tangents and just talk about random shit. Now, the reason why I'm filming this Russian video is because it's a story. I read a book that I'm going to recommend today in this video that completely like fucked me up, man. Like I am now obsessed. We already know that I have like a little bit of like a fetish, I guess, for Russian men, but um, as of recently, it's been like so intense. I was on the hunt for more like Russian men in romances and I had a comment off one of you guys who is indeed Russian and you told me to read this book and it was a whole ordeal because it's not published in English. I, oh bitch, I was on the internet high and low searching for this fucking book that you recommended me and I couldn't find it and then I jumped on Instagram, asked one of you guys to find it for me and you did and I began reading this Russian romance. I have a little highlight cover on my Instagram where I've saved all my IG stories uh, to do with this Russian book. That Russian book I'm not actually gonna recommend in this video today because I haven't finished it yet because it's hard to read because it's translated Russian. But it made me come up with the idea like, oh my God, I need to do a video where I talk about my favorite Russian alpha male characters that I've read. So we're doing that today. I don't know where this obsession with Russian men came from. I don't know. I don't know a lot about Russia. I know like one person in my life is from Russia and we're not like close. Like I just work with her. But um, besides her, like I've met like one Russian in my entire life. And we all know about this story. This Russian man I met in a nightclub. I turned him down. It was a big regret. Okay, a big, big regret that I wish I could turn back time and just live my best life with that Russian man that night. But I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I ran from him. Not because he was doing anything wrong, but because I was 18, drunk, and chasing after other dick around the club. Anyway, long story short, I'm in a Russian fucking mood, okay? I'm all about Russians at the moment. I'm like reading every Russian romance I can come across with a male Russian character. So I decided to sit down and talk about my favorite ones that I've come across. Um, and just some that I've read in general. Yeah, so th that's about it. That's what today's video is all about. Cool. It's so fascinating because we're all, all of us are obsessed with Russian men no matter where we live in the world. It's bizarre. I don't know why. I don't know why. Why? Can anyone answer my question? Like, I don't know why. Let me just get my list because I had to write them all down. Now, don't fucking expect me to drop their last names in this video because we all fucking know how bad I am at pronunciation in general, let alone spitting Russian last names. Like I can't even say their first names properly. Like when I was reading this Russian book, I was so fucking confused on what the fuck was going on and who was who. Cause everyone has like a hundred names. And then one of you messaged me and explained the whole like name situation because you're Russian, you know? And I was just like, thanks for clearing this up for me though, because I didn't know what the fuck was up. I thought all of these people were different people, but it was just pet names for one person. Like it was tripping me out. Now I have to mention this book and I know this book is very controversial and it's controversial for very good reasons, okay? But it's the best of the best. The Russian male character in this book is top tier, okay? He's the best of the best. He's the first Russian man I fell in love with via the fictional world. And I'm obsessed with him still to this day, even though I've read the series and I'm done with the series, I still think about him quite often. I know people are hesitant to read this book because of the context of this book, um, but so many people have read this because of me and at first they were like, I will never read it. And then I recommended it and they were like, okay, I'm going to read it. And they fucking love it. All right, just separate fiction from reality. Remember, if this was a real life relationship, I wouldn't condone it and you wouldn't condone it. But in the fictional world, this ain't harming anyone. So the book I'm talking about is Balance by Lucia Franco. So this is a series of, I think it's five books. One, two, three, four, five books. And it is a relationship between a coach and an athlete in the gymnastics world. 
I know, a little controversial, a little, ooh, you know what I mean? But it's so fucking good. It's so, so, so good. This series is full of drama. It's full of conflict. There's so much tension, sexual chemistry, so much angst in this series. It's insane. It's dark. It's beautiful. And I just love it so much. But that's not the only reason why I love this series. The other reason is because of Cobra, mate. Oh, bitch. This man, this fucking man is everything and more okay everything and more he is perfection at first though in the first book you're like he's a fucking dick man like such a cunt honestly there's no other way of putting it he is not a good dude in the first book but as you read the series you grow to love him and then you learn about him and his life and why he's the way he is and oh my god obsessed with him i'm obsessed with this man oh I could eat him. If he was fucking real, dude, oh my God, I'd be on that shit. I'd be on that shit like no tomorrow. I'm so obsessed with him. So if you haven't read Balance and you want a good steamy alpha male character that's Russian, this is where you go, hun. This is where it's at. So I'm doing like a mafia readathon with me, myself and I. Um, and this month I've just been reading mafia and I plan on like doing some more content to do with like mafia romances and stuff. Obviously with this video, a lot of the male characters I'm going to recommend are from mafia romances just because, I don't know, women just like to write about the Russian mafia. I've gathered. Um, and yeah, so a lot of these are mafia books. So the next book I want to talk about is The Madness Obsession, which I just recommended in my last video, which I read last week, I think it was. Um, and the male character in this book is named Christian. Oh my God. Like I want to eat this man. Like you have no idea. I want to eat him. Oh my God. So he is actually a dirty federal agent in the States. And he's working with the American Italian Mafia in New York. Um, and one of the bosses of the New York Mafia has this wife who's quite young. And there's definitely chemistry between Christian and this woman. And she kind of keeps putting herself in positions where she needs to be saved. And Christian constantly, like, is the knight in shining armor saving her, protecting her, and just getting her out of trouble. He's very secretive, um, and he's very, he's messed up, okay? He's very messed up. He had a really fucked up childhood. Like, don't even get me started on the childhood situation. Like, no wonder men turn out like this, if they get raised the way this cunt did. Um, and then he was in prison pretty young in Russia, so he's, he's, um, he's very, <laughs> I don't know how to explain him, but like, he's not very, like, uh, I don't know. He's just, he doesn't really have emotions. He's just kind of cold blooded. Um, but he definitely has emotions for this girl. I'll tell you that much. But yeah, he's like covered in Russian tats. And like, even when they get intimate, she's like trying to like learn about his tattoos and he like doesn't give up. He doesn't want to tell her like what he's done in his life. Um, and oh my god, it's just so fucking good. He's so good. He's very alpha, okay, to the point where like, there's one scene where this other mafia dude is talking smack about her and just kind of like being a sleaze. So he just shoots him. Just a casual bullet between the eyes, like whatever. He's delicious. So fucking delicious. Oh my God. So this is the third book in this series called The Darkest Temptation. This ruined me. This man ruined me. He ruined me. He ruined me. And I'm obsessed with him. Like I still think about it. Now that I've finished the book, I still think about him and I'm just like, I want you. I want him. I want him. Like I want you, sir. Like I want you. So this is Christian's brother, Ronan. So Ronan, by the way, love the name. I love that name. I just love that name. Anyway, this is about Ronan, who is Christian's brother. Christian's obviously the dirty fed in the US, living his best, uh, where Ronan is brat uh, boss man in Moscow and in Russia. So this book is actually set in Russia. Oh, it's so good. I just can't even deal. So it's about this girl who has a Russian father and she grew up in Miami and she turns 20 and her dad has been in Russia for three months and she's like really pissed off because he missed her birthday 
And she's like, fuck it. I want to go to Moscow. Like, I want to go to Russia and see why my dad has been over there for like three months. Like, what the fuck is up with that? Mila is the dumbest bitch ever, man. Oh my God. Reading this bitch in this book, I was like, are you fucking delusional? Like, I could not understand how she... The fact that she was so oblivious to what her father did for a living, I was like, how can you be oblivious to that? Anyway, so she's like, I'm going to Moscow. Her bodyguard, who's also Russian, well, she calls it her babysitter. Like, obviously your dad's into some heavy shit if you've got a bodyguard, hun. Anyway, um, he's just like, no, Mila, you can't go to Moscow. Like, it's too dangerous for you. You need to stay here. She ends up, like, sneaking off from her bodyguard, getting on a fucking plane from Miami to Moscow and just goes on her own. Dickhead. Anyway. And once she gets to Moscow, like, people are looking at her weird. Like, all this weird shit's happening. And she's just not questioning it. And I'm just like, oh, my God. And she just does dumb shit, man. Like, walks by herself in the middle of the night in Russia. Like, what are you doing, hun? It's just so stupid. Anyway, she gets into this encounter with this other man. This other man, like, tries to rape her. And then she ends up, like, getting away from this dude and, like, barging into this fucking, like, restaurant but it's like at the back of the restaurant in like an alleyway and she runs into Ronan. Ronan's like super sweet, he's super nice, he like gets her a doctor, makes sure she's all good, he like sets up a room for her so she's like not out in the cold and does all these amazing things. At first you're like oh my god he's a vibe and then the story changes, he's still a vibe but the story fucking changes, shit goes south real fucking quick man. Real fucking quick. It's a captive romance. Okay, so, yeah. But, oh my god, there was one scene in this book where she walks into Ronan's bedroom. Oh my god, this man's so sexy in this book, guys. I cannot fucking stress it enough. Like, I'm actually obsessed with him. I'm like, oh my god, if you were fucking real. Oh my god. Oh my god. But she walks into his room, and he's, like, asleep. Just picture it. He's asleep. He's covered in tattoos, man. Like, back completely covered, arms, everything. Pretty much his entire body is covered in tattoos. Oh, so delicious. And he's like laying on his bed, like with his hand under the pillow and he's like this and he's got his hand under another pillow and she like reaches out to touch him and then he fucking pulls a gun from underneath the pillow, tackles her to the bed and puts the gun to her head. I am a squealing bitch and my partner came into the bedroom and was like, are you okay? And I was like, no, I'm not okay because I'm swooning over this Russian man with a gun to this girl's head. Why am I finding this attractive? My boyfriend is very serious about me going to get help because he just doesn't think that this is good. He was like, why are you swooning over this? And I was like, because it's hot as fuck. It's amazing. Anyway, you need to read it if you haven't already. He is one of my favorite male characters I've ever come across. He has to be an alpha man. Like he's a fucking... Mob, mob star, like um, one that runs shit in fucking Russia, man. He controls everything. So of course he's like fucking alpha as fuck and it's sexy, okay? I don't want to hear you telling me that it's not, okay? Because it is. Don't lie to me and don't lie to yourself. Also, Manic by Ammo Jones. So this is one of Ammo Jones' um, least talked about books, but I think it's really, really good. And it definitely has like the Russian brat bar vibe to it as well. So it's about this rapper. He's a rapper. So random. Um, and his name's Manic. His dad is involved with the Russian mafia. Um, and this girl one night sees a crime that's committed that she shouldn't have seen. So Manic takes her and kind of keeps her captive. So it's kind of a captive romance to like the darkest temptation. This motherfucker is the devil, but it's so hot, man. He's so fucking hot. And their sex is very like... Oh, it's like, oh, wow. Oh, this is crazy. Okay, it's just crazy. I don't want to give anything away with this book because Amos books, go in blind with Amos books. You have a better time if you don't know what's going on in the book um, beforehand. It will just make your head spin. She's a great author and this is a really good one. Then we have Alessio. Is that his name? I don't know. From Mafia and his Angel. So this is a three book series. This is one of the most popular um, Russian Mafia book series, I would say. It's about this girl who is actually Italian and she's married to the Italian Mafia dude. She ends up escaping the estate that she's kept at 
because he treats her like shit. She's ready to risk her life just to try and live a different life. So she gets out and she ends up in this car. In the back of this car, this car drives to this other estate. She hops out of the car and she's just like, what the fuck is this joint? It looks so similar to like my partner, like my husband's estate. And she ends up like running into the house when she sees all guards and guns and stuff. And she hides under the bed. But then Alyssa, who is the mafia mob man, finds her under the bed and holds a gun to her head and just says like, you've got three options, you work for me, you go back out on the street or I kill you right now. Um, and yeah, she ends up staying there obviously and shit kindles. But he's intense too. Like, oh my God. Oh my God. But I will say about Lila's books, especially this Mafia series, because this series has three books and then there's two other books after this to do with a character that you meet in the first three books. That one's my favorite. They're very dark, okay? Like super dark. Like if you have any triggers when it comes to sexual assault, human trafficking or anything like that, these books are very descriptive with it okay very detailed especially the human trafficking stuff like it's intense um i got a little bit weird not weird but i was like oh when i was reading this because yeah it's intense as fuck but it's one of the best and Alyssa is swoon worthy baby i'm reading this right now and oh my god <laughs> oh my god i nikolai are. Uh, Sorry, sir, but like, do you actually exist? Because if you do, we need to like link up. We need to figure it out. We need to somehow, you come from like Russia, meet me halfway or something. Like we need to link up. This is The Devil's Lair by Anna. What's her last name? I don't know. You'll see it on the screen. Oh, this is good. I haven't finished it yet, but I'm ready to finish it today. I can't wait to finish it today. It's going to be so fucking good. Like so amazing. So it's about this... Girl who's like on the run, man. She's on the run. Someone's after her. This is also a duet, by the way. I don't think the second one's out yet. But she's on the run and she comes across this nanny position in a newspaper in this town that she's like just driving through. And it's for an in-living position to tutor, teach, and like be a nanny. And she ends up applying for it, gets an interview, and she goes there. And it's like this huge estate, like this massive house. There's like guards, guns. Um, like a full like fortress around this like mansion to protect whoever's inside and she instantly is like red flags bad news and she ends up having this interview with Nikolai who is the father of this child and oh my god he is so alpha man like one of the most alpha men I've, I've read and his sexual attraction to this girl is intense like because it's written in her perspective and his as well. So some chapters you get his perspective and he is, oh my God, he's an animal dude, animal. And it's so fucking good. He's a part of the Russian mafia. This poor chick that's already, you know, running from people, he, she's on the run, has walked into this life and it's just like, cool. Just what I needed. So they're the books that I wanted to talk about today and the male Russian characters that I fell in love with. I hope you guys enjoy. If you have any recommendations for books to do with Russian men as the main characters, I don't care if they're mafia or something completely different. I would like to read a Russian character that's not a part of the mafia like give me something different they're always in the mafia like can you create something different let me know in the comments below because i'm on a binge reading session at the moment with all this stuff i hope you guys have a wonderful day wherever you are thank you for watching it means the world to me and i'll see you in my next video bye